Okay, Frank, today we're thinking a wine and eggnog. Whiny eggnogs? What, what do you, what do you... We're thinking of you putting wine in eggnog for a cocktail. That sounds disgusting, but we'll try it! Okay, let's roll it. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again for another Duplin Winery, Dine and Wine, and I got my old pal, the Frost Man here. He's going to share this with us. You know what we've got today? We have an eggnog and wine spritzer. It sounds crazy, I know. It doesn't sound like it'd be good, but I'm telling you, I tried it and it is awesome. Now, the way you want to do this though, you want to add the wine first. And what we're going to use, our cool wine goes really well with this. We tried a couple different ones and the cool was just the best one to go with this. So we're going to fill, uh, I would say about a third of our glass, something like that with the wine and I know that's not quite a third so we'll say a quarter we'll say about a quarter of the glass and what we're going to do then take your good old eggnog and I love this stuff I really do eggnog milkshakes are awesome in fact if you make an eggnog milkshake add some of this cool wine to that that sounds good too so you can try just about anything you want to but we're going to add some of that and the cool thing about this is when you add that to this it's going to give it a little bit of a pink nice Christmassy color so here we go and that uh, and of course you want to make two because you always want to have one for a friend right now we want to add a little bit of spritz to this so we're going to take a little bit of club soda pour that on top not too much just a splash just to give it a little bit of that spritz there we go now let's mix that up a little bit and if you want to add some cinnamon add some cinnamon on top um, nutmeg, whatever you like. I like a little bit of cinnamon in mine, but I'm going to just do it without that because I think there's a little bit of cinnamon in this eggnog already. All right, and now, last thing we want to do, we want to add some ice just to make it look nice. And it'll cool it down a little bit. So let's put some ice in there. There we go. A couple more of those in each of these. This is a really, really nice, you can do it at night. I like it with pancakes in the morning. I'm telling you, it's really good with pancakes in the morning. If you want a little nice drink to go with your breakfast, this is awesome too. Give that one more little stir here. What do you think, Frosty? I think the Frost Man's gonna like this. So let's throw that in there. Cheers, guys. Oh yeah. You get that eggnog taste, and this is one of my favorite of our wines, it really is, because it's got a little bit of that muscadine flavor, and there's a couple grapes in there that are non-muscadine, so that mixed together with this eggnog is just amazing. Here, take a sip. All right, enough, you're driving. Guys, thanks for joining us again. Hope you guys have happy holidays. We'll see you on the other side. This is Frank, out.